Welcome back to the Iron Ryan Zombie Show, where I'll be talking to you all things uh, zombie related. Bit of news for you. Um, we've got uh, World War Z. Uh, yeah, World War Z has got its trailer on YouTube. You can check that out. Be out me. Um, and then at the moment we've got The Walking Dead. The Walking Walking Dead. It is back on our telly boxes. Uh, so today, pow, is books or screens? Which one's better? Which one have you been enjoying? Well, today I've been uh, going through the World War Z book on audio because I've played to get, and I've just got it on my phone, so I'm just listening. Uh, I have read the Zombie Survival Guide. Well, I you should. You haven't. And yeah, Max Brooks is kind of a bit of a different way on the film. Uh, the fast moving zombies for one, and very good fast moving zombies. I mean, you think, yeah, you know, we've seen fast moving zombies in 28 Days Later. Not like this yet. How do we know they're coming? Not like this. You've not seen any zombies like this before. Guaranteed, that was my phone that just gone off. You can see it's not here. Um, yeah, these zombies are scary. They are like a wave. They're just not even human or anything in the just like ants. Just massive zombie ants that are human shaped. They just they just spill on other streets, just collapse and tumble everywhere. Um so yeah, it's a bit different from the slow moving stupid uh, zombies that we're used to in Max Brooks's books. I'm coming back. Not that I'm complaining. I'd give this film a uh, predicted 4 out of 5 headshots. Kapow, 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 kapow. Yeah. And so, moving swiftly on, like a ninja through the dark eyes. Um, Walking Dead, well, to season 3 of The Walking Dead, and it is going pretty good. No spoilers, don't worry, I ain't gonna spoil it for you. But there are a few things that have changed from the comics that I am way, way ahead. I'm years on from new viewers. It's like, I hope this is going to go on for a few more seasons because they're not going to manage to fit the rest of the comic in otherwise. Could you pow, jam that back in? But yeah, a little disappointed that the governor, I, him, it's not like he is in the comic. I mean, everyone was like, oh, he's creepy. Yeah, that guy is really creepy. But, no, uh, you know, in the comic, he's very, very bad. Obviously, the fans like me, we, we're used to the fact that it's all changed. But this time, it's gone whole crazy. I mean, what was with the farm? Seriously, guys, the farm was so long, it didn't even need to be that long. And now I've got the feeling that they've clocked on. And they're going, oh, the farm shouldn't have been that long. And now they're making the prison proper short. But the prison is a massive, like, 50 comics worth. So, you know, don't get rid of the prison, man. Prison good beans. So, oh, and a little quick mention to uh, an indie game that I was having a quick bash on a couple of days ago. Dead Pixels. Everybody get your hands on that. 80 Microsoft points. Um, yeah, Dead Pixels, man. It's like Scott Pilgrim meets zombies. So, yeah. How cool is that? That's sort of cool being with that. It's kind of a big deal. But, catch you later, alligators. Gotta love you, and I'll leave you. Bye bye. Oh, God.